All right. Hello, guys. Um, this video is going to center on the charging by induction concept builder. Um, my apologies. There's probably going to be some baby sounds in the background, and maybe I'll even bring in a special guest guest star at the end of all this, um, and she can be in my video. <laughs> So, all right, so here we go. Charging by induction. We'll go through the apprentice, we'll go through the master level, and we'll go through the wizard level. Um, we'll do one question from each, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take our questions. So, all right. A neutral metal sphere is charged by induction. Step one a negatively charged balloon is brought near the neutral sphere. And then step two while the balloon is held near, the sphere is touched. <laughs> the result is the sphere becomes charged. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the animation. Okay, so that was our animation. So let's return to the question. Okay, so question is, how does the sphere become charged and what charge does it acquire? So you're going to tap on the hotspots below to select your answers. Okay, so first up, you bring the negative balloon up to the neutral metal sphere. What's going to happen is that the electrons within the sphere are going to repel over to the right hand side and that the uh, left hand side will become positive. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, keep in mind that anything with the protons flowing is going to be incorrect. And here we go. Electrons in the sphere move away from the balloon. All right, now how is the charging process going to work? Okay, so if the electrons are all over here, then what's going to happen is that the electrons are going to travel into the finger. And so let's go ahead and we'll do that. So electrons are going to move from the sphere to the finger, the finger and the sphere will become positive as a result. Let's go ahead and check our answer in data way. Alrighty, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the next one. Let's look at the master level. Okay, a neutral aluminum pi tin is charged by induction. Step one, a neutral pi tin A is brought near a positively charged acrylic board. Step two, while the pi tin is held near the board, is touched by a second neutral aluminum pi tin B. The result is that pi tin A becomes charged. Let's go ahead and let's see the animation. So it's gonna be brought near. And step two is that it will charge. Let's return to the question. All right, so when you bring this pi tin close to the charged acrylic board, what's going to happen is that the electrons, are you saying please? Are you saying please? Do you want your mama to move it? Can you do that, mama? She's asking please go so nicely. Okay, so all the electrons are going to move up here. Um, oh, sorry. Electrons are going to move closer to the acrylic board. See what happens when I get distracted. Because uh, they'll want to be close to the positive charge. So let's do that. Okay. Very nice. Step two. So if all the electrons are going to be close down to here and you're going to touch here, at the very top of the pi tin, you're going to have a positive charge. And so what's that positive charge going to do is it's going to draw electrons from this neutral pi tin. And so we'll go ahead and we'll have electrons traveling from the neutral pi tin into um, pi tin A. Um, that will cause the pi tin A to become negative. So let's go ahead and we'll check that answer. In that way. Very nice. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and let's go to the main menu and we'll do the very last one, wizard level. Let's see if I can do wizard level while being distracted by a baby. 
All right, question. A neutral aluminum pi tin is charged by induction. Step one, the neutral pi tin is brought near a positively charged acrylic board. Step two, while the pi tin is held near the board, it's touched by a finger. The result is that the pi tin becomes charged. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll view the animation. So the pi tin is going to be brought up and then it's going to be touched. Honestly, your finger is not too different from a pi tin. Um, you are very conductive as well, and so this is going to be a very similar answer. Um, let's go ahead and click on that. So you bring the positive charge up to the neutral pi tin, and what's going to happen is the electrons are again going to travel down. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Electrons in the pi tin will move towards the positive side. If the electrons are moving down, then the top of the pi tin is going to be positive, meaning that when you touch it, electrons from your finger are going to go into the pi tin. If you're going to add electrons into the pi tin, then it's going to become negatively charged. So let's go ahead and check that answer and out of the way. Not going to lie, this simulation is one of the more straightforward ones. Um, I feel like you guys <laughs> probably won't have that many difficulties with it. But I think it's time to have our guest appearance. So, say again. Can you bring Sagan over? Can you come here? Do you want to be in my video, Sagan? You don't want to be in my video? <laughs> How dare I? All right. Well, anyways, I'll make a video of her um, in the end.